Allie? Yeah, right now, you guys, we're seeing just people streaming in, flooding in, anxious to go out there and barter for the biggest, best, brightest, and yeah, the loudest fireworks for their 4th of July celebration. But be careful where you do set them off because a lot of cities and towns in our area actually have regulations against fireworks and all out bans for things that go boom. It's the mission of a lifetime when you're eight. Anything that's big and booming. With vendors as far as the eye can see, what's it gonna be? The wedding cake and war zone look fun. Or maybe something a little more simple. I also like those little popping ones where you put them on the ground and stomp on them. Yeah. They're really fun. Or how about the good old 4th of July go-to? It's a sparkler, Dad. Yes, it is. It's I want it. But coming home from Boom City with any of those things? So how much for one of each? Might cost you more than you bargained for. You're looking for a deal, I'm looking for a friend. I got friendly deals. <laughs> Across the Puget Sound region, the majority of cities in King, Pierce, and Snohomish counties have bans or regulations on fireworks. What are you guys looking for? Yeah, the ones that go boom. Shadow of Destruction, it's my favorite cake out of all the cakes in Boom City. In right. King County, Patriots can celebrate with fireworks on the 4th in a couple of cities, including Auburn and Bothell. In Pierce County, that includes Bonnie Lake and Gig Harbor. In Snohomish County, Arlington, Lake Stevens, and Monroe all welcome the colorful displays tomorrow. Now, these are just some of the places where fireworks are allowed tomorrow. Now, no matter where you are, the possession or discharge of certain fireworks like firecrackers, rockets, M80s, dynamite, and homemade fireworks, those are all illegal. If you're caught setting any kind of fireworks off in areas where it's illegal, it's considered a gross misdemeanor. You could actually spend up to a year in jail and you could be fined $5,000. I like making noise, but I don't like the noise. Well, now that you have a good idea of where fireworks are and aren't allowed, have you decided what you're setting off? Don't you love me? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's adorable. Then you yep. should get it for me. <laughs> It really was fun walking around with Catherine trying to find that right firework. And I'll tell you what, we've been watching people come out here with dollies, those hand trucks with fireworks. So they're sure to have a good celebration, but we want you to stay safe. And we want to remind you too, each city has different laws, different jurisdictions have their own regulations. So be sure we have a full list at Q13Fox.com for you to check out. I mentioned safety there. We want to continue our team coverage now because it's all about fun, but we all want to go safely home, right? So Matt Lorch continues our team coverage now with some safety tips from officials. Matt? So, Allie, people are in.